Our First Looks coverage is proudly powered by the Microsoft Store. Get your next laptop, tablet, Xbox, and more by going to firstlooks.tv slash Microsoft. And actually, our first interview is here. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. Hi. Can you please introduce yourself for us? Yeah. So my name is JT Yeager. I am the Senior Manager of Events, Marketing, and Communications for the first LEGO League program here in Central Florida. Okay. So what is that like? Uh, that's very busy. So I manage 50 different events every year. So from our qualifying event season, our pre-qualifying, fundraisers, outreach events, a lot of events. And then finally, this culminating event here, along with supporting First Championship in Houston and Detroit um, and some other conferences over the summer. All right. Wow, that's a lot. Yep, so, it's a lot. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this competition today. So we are at the first LEGO League Central Florida 2018 Regional Championship. So this is the top 48 teams in Central Florida. So and this is the culminating event. So they've all attended a qualifying event. And of that, 25% of teams advance. And now they're at this event. And they just do the normal first LEGO League fun. So they participate in three scored robot game matches. And they participate in judging as well in three sessions based on the three aspects of our program. Program. Can you do me a favor and tell us a little bit about the game for those of us who don't know what Lego League is or what even Yeah, is yeah, this? yeah. So first Lego League was actually created in 1998 by a partnership between first and the Lego group. Um, from that partnership came our program, and, and it's uh, basically just the same of the continuation of FIRST. So our, our whole mission is to create these mentor-based programs that foster well-rounded life capabilities like self-confidence, communication, and leadership in young people, and ultimately get them really excited about STEM. And the best way to do that is to start young. So we start with FIRST LEGO League Junior, which is for ages 6 to 10, and then we go into our program, which is FIRST LEGO League, which is for ages 9 to 14. So there's three parts of the program, all that are surrounded by an annual challenge theme. So there's the core values, which is really um, how we do things as opposed to what we do. And that's basically just teaching those really important 21st century soft skills. A lot of stuff that we as adults wish people knew. Um, the signature of which is gracious professionalism, which is competing like crazy, but being respectful and kind throughout the process. So teams are actually evaluated on how they work together in a judge session. And then the other two components of the program are the robot game, which is what you can kind of see behind us, and the project. So with the project, this year our challenge is hydrodynamics. So teams have been tasked with identifying a real world problem related to the human water cycle, which is how we find, transport, use, or dispose of water. They have to create an innovative solution to that problem by creating something totally new, modifying something that already exists, or using something that exists in a new way. And then they have to share that solution with others. And through participation in the program, they'll most likely interact with real world professionals, like uh, this year it's been civil engineers and hydrologists a lot. Um, and then the final component is the robot game. So teams have to design and build a Lego Mindstorms robot that competes on a thematic playing surface for points. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. And yep. how old are these kids that are competing? 9 to 14 in the United States and Canada and 9 to 16 in the rest of the world. Wow. wow. So can you tell me a little about your role here today? Yeah, so um, I am the event manager for this event. So my responsibilities um, kind of scope between uh, managing the venue, all of our food and beverage, our catering services, um, anything related to hotels and housing for all of the participants. Mm -hmm. We have over 2,000 participants here today as well. Mm -hmm. wow. um, so yeah, it's a really full event. Um, and I also am the project manager for the judging process. So I oversee that. And I'm also responsible for all of the staff that are here today. So we have eight full-time full-time program mm -hmm. staff here that are supporting the event. So I'm responsible for designing our rollout and how we communicate and who's responsible for what throughout the entire event process. You have your hands full. Yeah. So basically the success of the event is, is what I'm focused on. Okay. Wow. I have a question about like, why do you do so much work? So I love FIRST. I'm an alumni of FIRST. Um, I participated in FIRST LEGO League quite a while ago. So I know what I got out of it and I believe in giving back. Um, and I just believe in the program. I've seen how it changes students for so long. And, and our program really is more than robots. And there's a lot of longitudinal studies by Brandeis University that prove that uh, students who participate are more than twice as likely to choose a STEM career field when they major in college. Um, our diversity inclusion efforts mean that more girls and minorities are getting exposed to the wonders of science and technology. And our alumni program has vast connections worldwide and access to over $50 million in scholarships. So what's not to love? Exactly. Nice. So when you first started after graduating from your team, which mm -hmm. what team were you on? Um, I was, so I wasn't on a FIRST Robotics Competition or FIRST okay. Tech Challenge team. I did do FIRST LEGO League, though. Okay. Um, at the time in Florida, there wasn't actually a large presence of FIRST Tech Challenge and FIRST Robotics Competition, which is one of the things we as a state uh, and our state operating committee have been really focused on so that students actually have access to the full progression of programs. 
Um, at the time, there wasn't really a readable access for those programs, so I didn't continue on. Um, but when I was on First Lego League, I was on Team Deja Vu, which is here <laughs> oh. today. Wow. Um, yep, they're still, they're still kicking around. They're based at Rochelle School of the Arts in Lakeland, Florida. And um, I had a blast. Michael Schwein, who's the operational partner here and runs First Lego League in Central Florida, was my coach. Um, oh. So I've, I've been around him for 10 years now, mm -hmm. been involved in First for 10 years now. Um, but yeah, we had a really successful team. We actually advanced from a regional to a state event and then actually went on to an international competition in California as well. Okay. So I like oh. to say I know my stuff. <laughs> of course. So when you were on your team and you graduated from the team, did you volunteer? Absolutely. I actually... Um, I volunteered while we were on a team, right? So when, it, when we go back to those 21st century soft skills that first students are learning all about, volunteer, volunteerism is a really big component of that. So even today, this event is supported by 120 volunteers, also under my purview, which is another <laughs> thing I do. Um, they are all um, giving back to their community and the economic impact of this event is very substantial, especially to the Winter Haven area with our affiliate partner, Polk State College. Um, but the 48 of those volunteers are provided by the team. So every team provides one volunteer as a way to give back to the event. So our focus can be on recruiting those more critical roles like judges and referees and those that can't really have a conflict of interest. But all of those support roles like cures and just getting people in and out in traffic control are all provided by the teams because it's just everybody doing their part to make it a really successful event. Nice. So why did you volunteer? Oh. It's, it, it really goes back to the same thing. I, I love the program. Um, I love judging. My, my personal favorite part of the program is the project because you learn so much about research at such a young age. And it's really different than what you might be doing in the classroom because you really are creating a product. And children, especially in the age of 9 to 14, haven't necessarily learned some of the normal constraints and stipulations of youth or of adults where we think, oh, well, that's not possible. Children don't have that idea. They think anything is possible. And as a result, they create these really innovative solutions that are changing the world. And there's a lot of stuff that our alumni have done, especially recognized we have a Global Innovation Award celebration, which is held in June, which I'll be at. It's in California this year in Silicon Valley. And every year, the top 20 semifinalist teams are nominated all by their regions and then evaluated by a panel. And it's just about that innovative solution. And they're going to go on to uh, Washington, D.C. and be evaluated. And they compete for a top prize of $20,000 to make their innovative solution a reality. So first alumni, and even just with First Lego League, are already doing really amazing things. They have patents. The team last year who won the championship here has three patents. And they are 9 to 14 years old. So, wow. so it's really about innovation and changing the world. Wow, so there's a lot of first alumni getting involved. And I want to ask, what's your favorite memory of when you were in first? Um, I think my favorite memory was actually from the first competition I ever went to, uh, which was a long time ago. <laughs> and um, when we got there, we were very new, right? Um, and so even though our coach had been doing it for a long time, you know, we believe in First Lego League that the kids do the work. So we don't put any pressure on coaches, really. They're just there to guide the team. And so, so sometimes you're left hanging and you as a team have to figure it out. And um, we were very good at that from the start, right? But we learned and that's what it's all about. It's because what we discover is more important than what we win. It's, it's a competition, but that's just to recognize student achievement, especially really high student achievement in all three of our areas. Um, but so I went to, sorry, that was a long tangent, wasn't it? <laughs> I, I went to um, uh, the first competition we ever went to. We ha it was, uh, it was a food factor. That was the challenge. So we were looking at how we can solve problems within the food industry. And we discovered this toxicity in mushrooms after they're oversaturated. And the solution we had um, involved a demonstration with a fish tank. And we walked into the competition and dropped the fish tank and it shattered. And another team left the event and bought us a new fish tank what? during the competition. Oh my goodness. And that was <gasps> when I knew that this was something I wanted to be a part of. That is awesome. Yeah. Wow. If that doesn't show the like core value of gracious professionalism. And that's what first is all about is all of that. Yep. And this was the first Lego League with middle middle schoolers. Yep. It's it's not about the competition. Wow. It's about doing what we can to help out and make things awesome. Perfect. That's amazing. So picking off of piggybacking off of her question, what was your favorite memory of volunteering? Um, let's see. 
I think the community, so FIRST has a very unique community, especially people that come in. We, we like to say once you drink the Kool-Aid, you're always coming back for more. Um, and, and it really is, it's, uh, we call it the best kept secret because there's a lot of people that don't know about it, but once they do, they're coming back and back again because the kids are amazing, the volunteers are amazing, and we have such a great volunteer community. We, we have volunteers that just last night, we, we went out to eat and, and volunteers were paying for each other's meals and we just wanted to hang out and we had a great time. And when I went to first championship for the first time as a volunteer, there were so many people who just welcome you into this community and you really feel like you're a part of something that's really changing the world. Wow, wow. that's awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. This is like, I still can't get over the fish tank story. I'm like, <laughs> that is amazing. Yep. Uh, so um, if people wanted to find out more about FIRST or wanted to contact you personally about what you do and like how to join, what can they do? So centralfloridarobotics.org is our website. My email is jt at centralfloridarobotics.org. Um, and that's for First Lego League or First Lego League Junior in the central Florida area. So pretty much the I-4 corridor. Um, or you can go to firstinspires.org, and from there you can find local contacts if you're not from the Central Florida area. That's so awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. Thank you we so much for having me. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Can I, can I, can I peace uh, out? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Man, I, I know, like, teams that spend, like, their lunches fixing other robots and that, but, wow, buying going out of your way to buy another team of fish tank. That is so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. And this has been what FIRST has been all about the entire time. And that's what we are trying to do as FIRST Looks. We're trying to show everyone what FIRST is about and how awesome it is.